This is a teardown of a Zygel thin client. And the model number, oh, maybe it's iGel. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think it's iGel. Just thought it was a Z there. Anywho, uh, model number is IGELM250C. Oh, yeah, manufacturer iGel. Well, what's with the weird little angle there? <laughs> oh, well. So let's see what's inside. This thing's worth a whole $10 plus shipping, so it's getting recycled. <laughs> this is PoE powered. I don't know. I don't think it's PoE powered. So I wouldn't mind having a PoE powered thin client, but I don't think such a thing exists. And at least in the age of stuff I get. Now, PoE powered all in one thin client would be even more exciting. Now, the MIP. Wow, memory here is actually kind of interesting. It's uh, 2 gig DDR3L, 1866 megahertz. Um, oh, this has a uh, standard Intel CPU in it of some sort. I'm just going to clean up the thermal paste. There's the CPU. It's an SR21V. Can't Google that because I'm using the phone right now. <laughs> I guess the question is what does this use for storage? Because if this uses a regular SSD, then maybe I should keep it. Although I don't know what I'd do with it. Like, I have regular HP thin clients that I already know I can put Windows on. And then I use those as remote access devices. I could put their intended operating system on them, but when I try to figure out which operating system they're supposed to come with, I always grab the wrong one. And I've just kind of given up on getting the right ISO image. Hmm. How do I get the motherboard out? I need the back shield off. Hmm. That's annoying. Well, somehow this is trapped in there. I need to take off this back shield. I guess maybe I'll just do that now. Forgot I'm out of frame. Maybe the back shield comes out with the mother one? Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. Got some EMF shielding here. That's uh, there we go. Holding on nice and tight. Yeah, let's we'll leave that one. Oh, well, it looks like the flash is on board. Got a Kingston chip, CMC. Based on the model number, I'm guessing that's four gigabyte. The EMMC 04G M627. Although it is Kingston, they like to be uh, rude when it comes to labeling their stuff. Um, let's take a little looky-loo here. Some sort of controller chip there. Not sure what that's going to though. It's not the same side as the network jack, so it might be the video chip. Looks like this probably has Realtek audio based on the fact that this Realtek chip is so close to a headphone jack. I'm guessing there's some stuff in here that's regarding, that's related to uh, Ethernet. Probably some of this stuff wrapped around the storage. Oh, uh, let's have a. CMOS battery in it that's really hard to get this adhesive off, but it does look like it had provisions for either an MSATA slot or a wireless card slot. Some beepers, some jumpers here. Presumably, I mean, this is just a regular old computer. Um, usually, thin clients use weird CPUs. 
But, uh, yeah, well, that's really all there is to see. Um, got the tactile power button there. Indicator light. But, uh, yeah, oh, bigger speaker there. So, hopefully that's interesting, and thanks for watching.